So if we move up our screen gain, if you um, if you hold Control and drag, it'll go in like finer increments, so you don't like kind of like blast everything out. So there we go. That's pretty good. Oh, we got some down here. We might want to get rid of. We just want to make sure while we're doing this that we're not eating away at some of the other footage. So it doesn't look like it's too bad right now. We can keep going. Let's go check out our final result. Make sure we didn't eat away everything. Nope. Oh, put this back on. I'm not seeing any not seeing any green. Maybe something right there. We can uh, keep on going with this. So let's check. go back to our status and check. Now what we're doing is we're just refining things to make uh, an even better key. Now it looked like a pretty good key, but I mean now you can see different things that we can refine to make better. Now another way we can uh, do this is to uh, mess with this clip, clip black again. So um, let's go, we have to have this uh, screen mat section twirl open. And clip black is right here. And the uh, clip black is going to go a lot faster, so. Oh, more this way, it looks like. But you can see it's eating a lot more of the, of the uh, image away. So it's, it was at fifth. It was at 15 at first, I think. Let me put it at 15 and then I'll toggle between 15 and 37. So that's 15. And this is 37. So, I mean, it helped a little bit. Looks like we got some, uh, a little bit of hard edges here. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to zoom in that, fat, that hard. Um, everything's not going to be like super perfect. Let's go back to 15 and see how our edges work. Well, they're still a little hard, but that's what happens when you key. So these are the small things that you can see when I was talking about don't work, don't work on a uh, a key for only like a minute. You need to work on it a little bit by a little bit and make it a better key. So we got that going on there. The best way to um, get rid of all this noise and stuff like that start with clip black like uh, we did before. Remember we use clip black to get rid of all the extra noise and stuff like that and then go to screen gain to do the finer tuning. So that's usually the best way to go about that. The another thing that we can use here is uh, this uh, replace method down here. And um, this usually uh, kind of deals with uh, the despill bias and uh, remember when we selected the skin tone here to uh, um, get the uh, colors back in and it started changing the bell color and everything like that if we uh, start changing the uh, colors here our replace methods the uh, colors are uh, will get a little different this one looks like it got like kind of looks like it got even more blurry or something like that here source source uh, brings in a lot of green that's not really what we want and there's none which just kind of looks like our uh, color key thing so, um, to me, let's hard color, soft color. I kind of like the soft color the best. That seems to be working the best. The next parameter I want to go over is a uh, screen softness here. And if I zoom in <clears throat> and I look uh, here at the edges, we can see that some of them are kind of jagged, like this one and uh, these are a little bit jagged but not too bad um, if we add a little bit of screen softness I'm talking like one here you can see what it does there it kind of uh, softens the edges a little bit for us and uh, that's your preference uh, whatever you like better <clears throat> depends on how hard and crappy your edges get but if they are somewhat decent then uh, you don't have to mess with the screen softness too much the next uh, section we want to come over here to is the screen shrink slash grow 
and uh, sometimes you may have noticed that there might be like some uh, a colored edge or something like that for example if I grow this you can see that there's a dark edge and this might happen to you sometimes um, what you want to do is uh, shrink the screen edge and uh, it'll it'll still eat away but you can eat away at your footage but you can uh, um, get a rid of that screen uh, rid of that dark edge if you really needed to now I put mine to zero I didn't even realize it um, and I thought that zero was a pretty good <laughs> that setting I guess was pretty good so I don't really need to uh, mess with the screen shrink grow at all in mine so that's the end of, of a more advanced tutorial on how to use uh, key light and how to refine your uh, keys so um, there's other stuff that we can uh, go over at another time but for now you have a basic understanding of how to use key light and uh, this tutorial brought you like an intermediate understanding of how to use key light too and now you should be able to pretty much key um, almost anything with this and it's going to be awesome so because key light is a really powerful tool so thanks for watching this one thumbs up if you like thumbs down if you hate and uh, subscribe if you want to keep in touch and receive notifications when we make uh, new tutorials so thanks uh, a lot you guys thanks for watching have a good one everybody